You didn't have to dress up and bring wine. If you go out to dinner, don't you dress up. Don't you take wine. Yes, I, I do. But... Yeah, well... Well, what? Well, you wouldn't have taken sweet sparkling wine, would you? Does it matter what I do? It wouldn't have mattered if you'd walked in carrying a bottle of Spanish plonk. It was Spanish. Couldn't you just relax? It wasn't a fancy dress party. You could have come as yourself. Don't you realise what all those people would have seen had you just come breezing in? They would have seen someone who is funny, charming, delightful. I don't want to be charming and delightful. Funny? What's funny? I don't want to be funny. I want to talk seriously with the rest of you. I don't want to come to your house to play the court jester. You weren't being asked to play that role. I just wanted you to be yourself. Yeah, well, I don't want to be myself. What's me, eh? Eh? Some stupid woman who gives us all a laugh because she thinks she can learn. Because she thinks that one day she'll be like the rest of them, talking seriously, confidently, with knowledge, living a civilised life. Of course, actually, she can't really be like that, but bring her along because she's good for a laugh. If you think that's why you were invited, just to be laughed at, you can get out now. You were invited because I wish to have your company. Yeah, well... I'm all right with you here in this room, but when I saw those people you were with, when I couldn't come in, I'd have seized up, because I'm a freak. <laughs> I can't talk to the people I live with anymore. I can't talk to the likes of them at your house, because I'm a half cast. I decided I wasn't coming here again. I went to the pub. Denny, I don't want to have a baby, not until I've discovered myself. You know, this is getting to be a bit wearisome. Whenever you come here, Mrs. White, you'll do anything except start work immediately. Come on. Where's your essay? I haven't got it. You haven't done it? I said I haven't got it. Don't tell me. It's been stolen. Whilst you were sleeping, a group of Cambridge dons broke into your house and stole your essay on Jekyll. Rita? It's burned. What? So are all the Chekhov books you lent me. Danny found out I was on the pill. He's burnt all me books. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry. I'll get you some more books. Oh, sod the books. I wasn't referring to the books. Why can't he just let me get on with me learning? You think I was having an affair the way he behaves? You know, perhaps you are having an affair. Go away, I'm not. What time have I got for an affair? Jesus, I'm busy enough finding myself, let alone finding anyone else. I'm beginning to find me. It's great. It is, you know, Frank. It might sound selfish, but all I want for the time being is what I'm finding inside me. I certainly don't want to go rushing off with some fella. Dear Frank, today was my first real day here. And you know what? I actually rode a bike. How are things in France? I haven't heard from you yet. 
At first it was like I thought it would be. I didn't know anyone and I was going to go home. But Frank, listen, you would have been dead proud of me. I was standing in the library, you know, looking at the books, pretending I was dead clever. Anyway, this tutor came up to me and he said, Are you fond of Ferlinghetti? Frank, it was right on the tip of me tongue to say, only when it's served with Parmesan cheese. But Frank, I didn't. I held it back and I heard myself saying, Um, actually, I'm not too familiar with the American poets. <laughs> Well, if you like Bell and Getty, I'm sure... Frank, he started telling me all about the American poets, and he wasn't even one of my official tutors. There must have been hundreds of us in this lecture hall. But when the professor finished his lecture and asked if anyone had any questions, I stood up. Honest to God, I stood up. Yes? And everyone's looking at me. I don't know what possessed me. I was going to sit down again, but hundreds of people had seen me stand up. So I did it. I asked them a question. Um, I was, uh, I was wondering if you think that Chekhov was showing us the aristocracy as, like, a decaying class. This view of a Chekhovian aristocracy in decay, it is, I presume, one you've picked up from Dr. Palmer's book on Chekhov? No, no, I mean, excuse me, but no. I beg your pardon? No, I didn't get it from that book. I haven't read it. Uh, look, you see, the way I see Chekhov... Frank, you couldn't keep me down after that. I've been asking questions all week. Mostly about Chekhov, because, as you know, I'm dead familiar with Chekhov now. Hello, Bursa. How are you? A new term beckons. Dr. Bryant, you're back before term begins. Preparations, Bursa. Preparations. Well, I can't stand here idling. There's work to be done. <laughs> Frank! Rita! My God, what is this vision I see before me? Do you like it? I've got a whole new wardrobe. Do you like it? Do you? Yes, yes, it's very nice. Did you actually manage to get any work done? Work? We never stopped. Lashing us with it, they were. <laughs> Another essay, lash. Do it again, smack. Another lecture, lash. It was fantastic. Frank, I could have stayed forever. Oh, Frank, I've got so much to tell you. Well, we've got plenty of time. I'm free for the rest of the day. Oh, great. I bought you some cigarettes in the duty-free. Frank, I've packed up. Congratulations. a present for you. Oh, what is it? It's not much, but I thought, you know. Oh. Look, see what's written on it? It's engraved. Must only be used for poetry by strictest order, Rita. I thought it would be a gentle hint. Gentle? <laughs> <laughs> You a dead good poet, one of the greats. A dead good poet. Mm. I've got just the man for you. Who? They overcomplicate him, Rita. They overcomplicate him. You won't overcomplicate him. You'll love him. I was going to introduce him to you before, but I was saving him for you. Ooh. Read this. Oh, Rose, thou art sick. The invisible worm that flies in the night in the howling storm has found out to thy bed of crimson joy. And his dark secret love does thy life destroy. You know it? Yeah, we did it at summer school. You did Blake at summer school? Yeah. You weren't supposed to do Blake at summer school. No, I know, but we had this lecturer and he was a real Blake freak. So you've, uh, you've done uh, uh, Blake? Yeah. Have you covered songs of innocence and experience? Oh, of course. Well, you don't do 